everyone. My name is Chef Colin, and today we are in the kitchen. We are going to make the famous Norris Town Zepp sandwich. It is like an Italian hokey, if you know what that is. First, we need our ingredients, so let's go get the bread. So now we need the rest of the things, which is in the fridge. We have to go wash our hands to make sure they're all clean so we don't Take any germs into our mouths. Okay. Now we're gonna cut the bread. We're not gonna cut the cheese, we're gonna cut the bread. So you gotta be careful because you don't wanna cut yourself. So you don't wanna cut too much on one side. And you wanna cut a straight line. So that's very tough. And you don't wanna make sure you go like too short or anything. And once you hear the that sound, you stop and there. So we have our two breads. What's next? Oh wait, it's our, it's our meat. And usually we would like to put the meat on first. So we've got the paprika cola. One piece, one piece probably enough, I think. And we're going to put a lot of it. I mean, we should do two. So we have another one, and it's pepper ham. So we probably going to only put one piece because it sounds spicy and it looks like it's very big, so we could overlap it. So maybe we'll just take one of these off. Put it in between. Sounds like a good idea. To me. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Well, look, there's pepper on the end. Yep, that's pepper. Pepper, 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 pepper. Like that. And let's get our last, our last meat, which is, let's see what it is. I think it's salami or something. And we'll get the cheese on it. So our next meat is, let's see here, Genoa salami. Hmm, sounds good. Maybe it's from Genoa. Is Genoa a country? I don't know. So, let's put two pieces because I like salami. Oh, one thing I forgot. Silly, silly Chef Colin. We need to put our Italian dressing on so it'll soak into the bread. So, let's take this off. Shake it up. Shake it off. Shake it off. Except for shaking it up. So after we shake it off, we're going to put it in the blank space. <whistles> Baby, because I got your name. And next, we're going to put the stinky prevalent cheese. So, well, then actually it's not stinky. So I think people are wrong. Because it's not stinky. And the prevalent cheese looks a little thick. So we should... Let's put one piece, this, let's put one piece on. So next, we should put our tomatoes on. So with the tomato, you want to be very careful. You don't want to put too much pressure, just enough, like it through, move it back and forth. Very easy. We're just going to do a normal slice. So there's our tomato. And tomato. Uh, and how about a joke while I'm peeling this on you? Why did the banana go to the nurse? Anyone? Anyone? Because he was peeled. Get it? That's a funny one. Or maybe it's not. I think it is. Because a lot of people laugh. Or maybe they're laughing because, because how I'm speaking is funny. But this stuff won't go off. So, and make sure you don't look at the onion too much because then you'll start crying. Too sad. Okay, look at that. I feel like we're forgetting something. Oh, yeah, oregano leaves. There we go. I think that's enough. All right. And there we have it the Zep sandwich. Hmm, looks good. Let's taste it.
It's but not spicy at all. Just enough of everything. So there you have it. That's how you make the Zep sandwich. And so if you ever want to make one, there you go. And until we meet again in the kitchen, goodbye.